wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best Orion telescopes. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. If you've got kids who are interested in astronomy, the Observer 270mm is a good choice. It's complicated enough to teach them how to balance it properly and use its finder scope, but it's a refractor, so it requires less maintenance than other models. It comes with a useful moon map and anti-reflective lens coatings. However, it's not the brightest choice. At number 9, the Skyscanner 100mm tabletop is surprisingly inexpensive for a reflector, making it ideal as a gift for beginners. Its large parabolic mirror optics may attract some dust over time though, necessitating occasional maintenance. It includes software and a reflex finder sight, but the eyepieces are low quality. Coming in at number 8 on our list, with its small footprint and stable tabletop stand, the Starblast 4.5 Astro is a fine in-home model you can use to look out of your window at the stars above. Its platform can also attach to a tripod if you want to take it out into the field. It provides good lunar details and is a good choice for beginners, however it's not ideal for other planets. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Orion Telescopes or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, anyone new to astronomy might be intimidated by the assembly and alignment of their first telescope, but the Space Probe 130ST Equatorial is easy to put together and use. On clear nights, you can even see a few of Jupiter's moons. It comes with an 8-inch counterweight bar and a 130mm aperture, but it does suffer from some vibration issues. Moving up our list to number 6, the Starblast 6 Astro Reflector would make a good investment for new astronomers who want something they can grow into, as it offers a peak magnification of 300 times and comes in a well-built housing without too many bells and whistles. It's equipped with a 6-inch opening and a base that arrives assembled, However, it does require frequent collimation. Halfway up our list at number 5. The mirrors inside the Newtonian Astrograph Reflector are coated to ensure they reflect up to 94% of the light they get. Combined with a bright f4 focal ratio, that makes for something capable of excellent astrophotography. The focuser sits deep in the assembly and it can support heavy camera gear, but it is somewhat difficult to balance. At number 4. If you need as much reach and clarity as the company can offer, the SkyQuest XX16G is probably the right model. It's motorized, so you don't have to worry about positioning it by hand, though it is still a bit cumbersome to use. It boasts Wi-Fi connectivity and can be broken down for transport, which is good because it weighs a hefty 200 pounds. Nearing the top of our list at number 3. The SkyQuest XT8G is a good Dobsonian model if you prefer that style's optical clarity but are hesitant about transportation. This particular offering, while larger than many hobbyist models, still comes in at under £30. It's easy to put together and comes with two eyepiece sizes and a collimation cap. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Orion Telescopes, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the AstroView 6 Equatorial Reflector provides a 750mm focal length that allows you to see fine details on the Moon's craters and even clear images of nearby planets. It comes with a pair of Sirius Plossel eyepieces. It features a rack and pinion focusing mechanism, starry night software and a counterweight for stability. And coming in at number one on our list, the SkyQuest XX14i features the company's most impressive guidance system, the Intelliscope Object Locator, which boasts computerized tracking for 14,000 stars, planets and other celestial bodies with incredible precision and accuracy. It disassembles for transportation and is equipped with a large 14-inch aperture and a very sturdy base. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Orion Telescopes or simply click beneath this video.